My brothers and sisters in Christ, the sacred Paschal Triduum is upon us. Beginning with today, Holy Thursday, Maundy Thursday, as it's often traditionally known, there is no daily Mass, so to speak. This was the traditional dating of the Chrism Mass, that special Mass held once a year, uh, that in this diocese is held on Tuesday. A lot of modern dioceses transfer it to uh, a day earlier in Holy Week. We celebrated the Chrism Mass uh, as the priests and representatives of the diocese with Cardinal DiNardo on Tuesday night. Today is also, as the Triduum begins uh, in the evening, the celebration of the Mass of the Lord's Supper, the Holy Thursday Mass. And so as we enter into this Triduum time, this most sacred three days of the year, I first of all wish to remind all of you that while we don't have, in a sense, a, a normal daily Mass schedule, we're, it's replaced with something uh, much more sacred, special, unique. And for those not able to attend in person, uh, each of the celebrations of the Triduum, Thursday night, Friday during the daytime, the Easter Vigil Saturday night, and the 11 a.m. Mass on Easter Sunday itself will all be live streamed. So I encourage everyone to, to take part in it in whatever way they can. So tonight, with the celebration of the Mass of the Lord's Supper, there's a couple of themes at work. The first of which, uh, and linking also to the, the Chrism Mass as well, there's this link with the theme of the origins of the priesthood. At the, the Chrism Mass, one of the, the special times, obviously the, the central theme of the Mass is the, the consecration of the, the holy oils for the year, but there's also the time for the renewal of the, the vows of priests. It's a time where they gather all together with the bishop and recommit to their, their priestly promises, including their, their promise of obedience to the, to the ordinary. But then on the night of Holy Thursday at the Mass of the Lord's Supper, we celebrate the institution of the Eucharist, which is of itself the origin of the priesthood. That is where the, the, there is no need, in a sense, for the, the, the ministerial priesthood, if not for the sacraments, which the Holy Eucharist is at the heart of it. And so, in the, the priestly ministry of Jesus, in the Last Supper, and then by the washing of the feet itself, we, we get the origin of the priesthood. And so, I share this with you, First of all, to, to ask you to pray for your priests, ask you to pray for me, but also because this is a wonderful time to reflect on those priests that have played an important role in your life. For those that have prayed with you and your families uh, at, at various times of life, whether just in day-to-day -day life, at sacred moments, you know, pray for the priest that baptized you, that gave you your first communion, the bishop that confirmed you. If you're married, the priest who married you the priest that has come to anoint your loved ones on their deathbed, the priests who have heard your confessions. This is a time at all times we, we pray, and as a pastor of souls, I, I certainly pray for the people of this parish, obviously daily. We, we pray, but this is a, a, a great time to, to pray, not only for us, but for all those priests that have touched your lives, not just a, in a sense of gratitude, but to pray for the strengthening of the grace of our, of our holy orders. For we are ordained for service of God's holy people. Not A priest is never ordained for himself. He's ordained for others. He's ordained for Christ. And so I just simply ask you, as you reflect on the priests who have come in and out of your lives, to, to pray for us that we may continue to be uh, of holy and sacred service to, to God and to each of you. And then in addition to this, with the, the gospel reading, even though we don't celebrate the mandatum rite this year because of the, the pandemic, the mandatum rite is the washing of the feet that often happens on Holy Thursday, we nonetheless still hear about it in the gospel. And it's a reminder of Christ who comes not to be served, but to serve. And this in of itself is a beautiful reminder commissioning of us of our duty to serve one another. It's a reminder of what is at the heart of charity itself. That charity, that love of God that is offered in the Eucharist, that is offered on the cross, is embodied in Jesus washing the feet of others. 
that God humbles himself to wash the feet of those who should be serving him, but yet he washes their feet. The feet in the, the ancient culture, the dirtiest part of the body, that was a servant's job to touch someone's feet, to wash them. And yet God so lovingly does so for his disciples, for us. Nothing less is expected of us to do for one another. So in these times where many are disconnected, look for those around you. Who is someone who is in need, who can be gifted by your service, by my service? And let us turn and show that same love to one another. Again, I wish you and all of yours a blessed Paschal Triduum. We look forward to seeing you, if not during these next three days, certainly for Easter Sunday itself. May God bless you.